Hey guys, welcome back. This is Saif with another tutorial from tech for all In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to enable the ransomware protection on Windows 11 and Windows 10. The process is the same. It does not differ on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So, let's start. First of all, open the Windows security application by simply double clicking on the icon in the notification area or open a start menu and search for Windows security application. Now click on the virus and threat protection, scroll down, click on the manage ransomware protection. Here you have to enable the controlled folder access. It will protect the files, folders and memory areas on your device from unauthorized changes by unfriendly applications. Toggle this option on. In the user account control, click on yes. Now to see which folders are protected, click on the protected folders. In the user account control, click on yes. These are the folders that are automatically added and it will be protected. And you cannot remove this folder from ransomware protection. To add a new folder, simply click on this icon. Select the specific folder and click on select folder button. Now the folder will be protected from ransomwares. To remove a folder from the list, select the folder first and then click on the remove button. Here it warns you that the folder will not be protected anymore. It's okay, click on the okay button. Now let me show you that how to give access for specific applications to access the protected folders. Click on the allow an app through controlled folder access. In the user account control, click on yes. By default, none of the applications installed on your computer will have access to the controlled folder. You have to add the applications manually. To add an application, click on the Add an Allowed app and select Browse All Apps. Go to the path where the application is installed. For example, I will give access to Windows Media Player to access the protected folder. After you have selected the application, click on the Open button and the application will now have access to the control folder. To remove an application's access from the control folder, simply select the application and click on the remove button. The application will be removed and it will not have access to the control folder anymore. How to see the recent block applications? If you click on the add an allowed application and from there you can see recently blocked apps. Here it shows the recent applications which were blocked by the control folder access. If you want to add an app, you can add it manually. To see if there is any attack on the protected folder or if any tweet is known or detected, simply click on the block history. Here it shows you the attack history and the tweet history on the protected access folder. And that's all for today guys. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I will catch you very soon with another tutorial. Till then, have a nice time.